Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Uh, good to have you all here with me. Uh, like I said last week before uh, Thanksgiving, that we would be uh, we would be hitting up our Advent devotion, our Advent book. Uh, since it's, it's Advent, we just passed the first Sunday, um, the Sunday of Hope. And um, interestingly enough, uh, our book doesn't really deal with that in the first little bit um, because because it's conversations, holy disruption, uh, discovering Advent and the Gospel of Mark. Now, I think what we have to talk about is that uh, the introductory chapter and then the conversation of, in the Gospel of Mark, there's not a whole lot of Christmas. And by not a whole lot, there's zero. Um, in fact, the introduction is called, Where's the Baby? Um, you know, Matthew and Luke spend a lot of time on angels and shepherds and Mary and and and, and the Christmas story. Um, even in John, where there's not a Christmas story, there's still like a bit of an origin story within the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Mark, there's nothing. Mark starts with the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ and goes right in to, to him at 30 years old or, or whatever. Um, so... Trying to find Advent in there is it seems a little tricky because where's the baby, right? Where's the Christmas? Where's the where's the fuzzy good feeling of lights and hope and story and, and, and acclamations from angels to shepherds and and uh, magi traveling from far off and divine incarnation? Because you don't have any of that conversation. But you have a lot of conversation about apocalypse. Um, Gospel of Mark is very apocalyptic. It's a very, um, a very eschatological is the word we like to use, which is end times focused. Now, uh, I think we have to reorient sometimes what we mean by apocalypse, and I'll get there. Um, but I think what we forget a lot, and I said this on Sunday in my sermon, is that Advent is both the recognition of the incarnation and the first coming in Christ, and the next coming that we hope for, that we long for, we look forward to. And those of us who have relatively comfortable lives, do we really want that second coming? Do we really want that? Because do we really want the end of the world? Again, I'm going to put quotes around that. Because everything seems kind of fine. <laughs> Part of the status quo, we really don't want the dynamic shifting of the end of the world. Now, the book Tracy um, Daub talks about is that whenever we think of apocalypse, we think of fiery, explosive end of the world, um, the, the, the kind of apocalypse that includes eternal damnation. And she suggests that we maybe shift our view of apocalypse or apocalyptic things as... as Drastic changes, um, things being flipped upside down. So, in terms of that, there was an apocalypse, so to speak, when Jesus first came, because and and the things that he did, because he shifted the status quo. He caused many apocalypses, um, many small, um, many many, uh, because he kept flipping things. He kept flipping the order of things. He kept flipping the status of things. He kept doing that while he was alive. And even his birth is that, because God in the form of a baby is so counterintuitive for us. Um, we have these little apocalypses that happen in our lives, these shifts, these changes, these these morphs, these modes. Um, and, and we can either look at them, these apocalypses as trauma or the situation in which God directly intervenes. God, I underlined in here, um, in Jesus, God came in love. In Jesus, God came to transform, not to destroy. In Jesus, we discover God who loves this world and seeks not destruction, but its redemption. God does not come into this world. God does not intervene. In the Gospel of Mark, it is all about divine intervention, about God's work here and, 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 and long from here and, and well before here. Mark is so much immediately about 
God in the present time, which Advent is about that. It's that reminder for us, God in our time, that we have to remember when we talk about the apocalyptic nature of, of these things or of God or of Jesus is that God came to transform. God came in love. God came to change the things, not to destroy them. Um, I, I, if it is destruction, there's new life after. <laughs> We are, even in spite of living in the birth time right now in terms of church here, we are resurrection people. If something dies, something new comes from it. We are, we are that. We believe in new life. So we find a way that in these life traumas, apocalypses, whatever we want to call them, to find God in it. That's Advent. Advent is, is the already, the not yet, in the midst it's the divine in the midst of here and now so i hope we find hope in that this week um, may you all be blessed look forward to seeing you soon